All right. Now what we have to do with this Nissan Murano is, as you see, turn it over. We have to get in a position where we can get to the bell housing. Because next we are going to start taking out these bell housing bolts. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, you can do it with any type of tool you want, but it's best to use the impact so that you can take them out as quickly as you can. Or you, but if you can't, then you can go with the simple um, wrench. So this is what we're doing now. Now, I want to remind you that this transmission is uh, one where the parts are hard to get. If you call the Nissan dealership as of right now and ask them to get any parts for this transmission, they will tell you, at least the ones that we have called, that there are no parts available for this transmission. So what do you have to do? You have to find one that is good and either put it in or find a core that has some good parts and use those good parts to put one together to make it good. Okay, so that's why again I always encourage people do not get this tran do not get a car that has C V T in it until the manufacturers start making the parts available in the aftermarket until they start selling them uh, because uh, right now what it seems to me as if they're doing is forming an, a monopoly they're trying to make sure that everybody go directly to the dealer so that they can uh, charge an, a very steep price now they do have the transmission here at the dealer they will give you a price for it which means that they have parts for it but they want to keep them for themselves I don't even think they sell a filter for this uh, transmission, but they do sell the whole unit at a cost I think is about hmm, twenty five hundred. So the whole job would probably be huh, close to four thousand dollars if done at the dealership. Another thing, as you're taking these apart look at the similarities of all CVTs find out oh, which one how are they different how are they similar and when you grasp the principles then you will start to see that they're all pre pretty much the same they might have something uh, the variators may be made differently or they may be organized differently within the case but they pretty much is going are going to do the exact same thing. Um, there are a lot of boats to take loose, uh, so don't miss any. And I did miss one, and I decided to show you where it is. Okay, now what I'm doing, I'm tapping on the bell housing trying to get it loose. Okay, and it's not coming loose. If something doesn't come loose for you, do not bam, bam, bam on it with a hammer. Because you break that bell housing. If something is not coming loose the way it should, after you have tried to, then something must be wrong. And I found what the problem was when I was taking this apart. There was a bell housing bolt still in here that you couldn't see because it was inside the fins of this bell housing. Now I'm going to show you where that is. There it is right down there. That boat right there was holding it. So don't forget to get this bell housing boat.
Okay, now that you have that bell housing bolt, you can take two screwdrivers, one, or maybe a little chisel. You can tap it now, as you will see that it's starting to loosen up. Then you can take something to wedge under there, try to take it out if it doesn't come out. Well, but this one came out pretty good. Okay, so now you see the inside of this bell housing. Uh, we'll set that to the side. You got the uh, a race. This belongs inside the case. Okay, so don't drop that or lose that. So if you look at it, the race it fits inside the case. Put it in the case and set it aside. Okay, that pin there belongs. I'll show you that later on, but it belongs where the parking paw is so it can swivel. Okay, here's a transfer gear. We're going to move that out of the way. That gear there. Uh, the next one is the differential that is coming out really there's not really much to doing this transmissions this transmission excuse me or well, pretty much all CVT uh, the variators are what you really have to pay most attention to uh, if there's any valve body wear issues we have not gotten into those yet but this one is just simply a repair All right, that pin that came out is right there. You can see it. I'm pulling it out now. That's that pin. Um, now, underneath this pin, that's the parking pole is what we're going to take out. What my hand is on now. So we take the parking pole off. Underneath there is a spring. And you have to pay attention to weigh to the way the spring uh, is situated which when we go to reassemble it you will see it clearly but I'll show you right now how it sits it aligns with the hole and that pin goes through the hole in the spring so this is how it looks it has a tab here tang that's pointing down towards the case all right now what I'm going to do if you read this information uh, what happened was I was looking for some footage to disassemble this part where that pump is the part that you're looking at now and I seem to have misplaced it so what I'm going to do I'm going to move from here to a part four and I'll include it as part three and as I start to reassemble it you will start to see this part and you can use that reassembled footage in order to disassemble this this is very easy